Over the years, Microsoft has added multiple tools to Outlook to try to boost productivity. One of those tools is the Focused Inbox. Many people aren't sure how to use the Focused Inbox because Outlook is automatically sorting some of your emails. I'll show you how to use the Outlook Focused Inbox tool or turn it off today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to talk to you about the Focused Inbox tool that Outlook has. First of all, what is this tool and why did Microsoft add it? The Focused Inbox automatically tries to sort what is important to you into your Focused Inbox and then there's an other inbox that's for everything else. Typically, you'll see the things that go to the other inbox will be newsletters, notifications, and other less time-sensitive emails. Every once in a while, you may have an email go into the other inbox that is one you'd rather have in the focused inbox, so I'll show you how to make that change. When used well, the focused inbox can help you focus on the most important emails and not be distracted by the things that are less important and less time sensitive. Let's look at the focused inbox in action. Here we have our Outlook inbox. You may have the newer version of Outlook, so it might look a little bit different from this, but this is the older version. And the focused inbox you can see right here in the middle, and this should show if you have the newer version as well. You have a focused and then you have an other. And so these are considered two separate inboxes. You're focused, as I said before, Outlook will try to pull in the things that seem to be the most important to you. However, sometimes things will go over to the other inbox that you don't want there. First, let's talk about if you don't see the focused and other, that means that your focused inbox is not turned on. The way that you can turn the focused inbox on and off is to go to view while you're in your inbox view. And here is your show focused inbox. If I check this, it takes away my focused inbox. If I click it again, now it's put it back in there. So we'll leave it on for the time being. If you decide after watching this video that you don't like the focused inbox, you can certainly come here and turn it off. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more? If so, you can click the subscribe button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. If you find that there are certain emails that you want to have going into one inbox or the other, all you need to do is click on the email in question, right click, and then you're gonna go down about three quarters of the way on this list. You see it move to other, always move to other. So if you choose move to other, that will move this email right now to the other inbox. If you choose always move to other, it will move any email from this email address over into the other inbox when it comes in. Right now, I will choose to just move to other, and then you can see it disappears from here. And when we come over here, we can see that it has popped into this area here. In the same way, if you are in the other inbox and you have something that you would like to have hit the focused inbox, we'll choose this, we'll right click, and you can see the wording has changed. It knows that you're in the other inbox and that you might want to move something to the focused inbox. So you can choose to move to focused or always move to focused. Again, that's going to take the email address that this email came from and always put things from that email address in the focused inbox. This is how you can teach Outlook exactly what you want for your focused and other inboxes. And again, if after seeing this and trying it for a while, you decide you don't like the focused inbox, you can come to view from the main screen and then click on the show focused inbox to turn it back off. You can see that if you do choose to use the focused inbox, it can really help you focus in on the most important emails by moving the rest out of your site. What a lot of people struggle with here is the things that go into the other inbox, sometimes we forget to check. 
There's no right or wrong, whether you want to use it or not, but hopefully this video has given you a good idea of what you might want to do. If you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to gatewayproductivity.com, which is my website, and click on the Let's Talk button to schedule your time. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.